I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. The purpose of the exercise is to practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand. I call it random pulls. If you have a set of tiles at home, give it a try. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We'll alternate between dealer and non-dealer, so we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, then 14. We have a flower, a white dragon, west, and south. There's a pair of souths. Then in bams, we have two, three, four, six. In dots, we have four, seven. And in cracks, we have five, six, seven. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would first focus on the Souths. Probably play something with Winds and Dragons. There is a year hand in the Winds and Dragons category, so I would keep the two. Because we have so many discards, I would come up with a plan B. And even though we have no eight, I think two, four, six, eight might be a good plan B because we have four other tiles that we can use. So I think two, four, six, eight, or a year hand, or maybe winds and dragons, and that would leave these for discards. I think what I would do is maybe pass those three first. Focus on two, four, six, eight, a year hand, or winds and dragons. We have a flower, north, east, pair of east. Then we have one, three in cracks, two, four, six in dots, one, two, three, seven in bams. If those were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? Since we have a pair of East and no other multiples, I would keep the wins and see if any wins are passed in the first Charleston and build around those. But we need a plan B because we have a flower and just three wins. So I would probably keep the twos and the one for a year hand potential, this one too, and focus on a year hand and maybe Winds and Dragons. So for a pass, one of each suit. We have a Joker, Flower, East and South. Here we have a white dragon, and then in bams we have four, six, seven pair of fours. In dots we have three, seven, eight, and then in cracks we have an eight and a nine. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I think I would focus on two, four, six, eight, even though we have a gap, no two. And twos are rough this year because it's 2021. So I think I would keep the three 
and see if we could switch to consecutive run if the twos don't come in. I would keep the flower. So we have three, four, six, eight. If twos come in, two, four, six, eight. Otherwise, consecutive run. So for a pass, east, seven, nine, one wind at a time. I think that's what I would do here. American Mahjong is very flexible. You can make just about anything work. But if you build around the strength of the hand, which is typically going to be pairs, pungs, kongs, you're going to optimize your chances to win the game. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.